Toyota electric semi truck going to destroy Tesla? Despite there being promises by Tesla for a fully electric truck since 2019, we haven't seen one until one, and we probably won't be seeing it until 2023. But while Tesla is still working on its electric truck, other manufacturers are interested in entering the electric truck segment. Toyota, for instance, is still not convinced about fully electric semi truck, but is developing a hybrid semi. In this video, we take a look at the Toyota hybrid semi truck. Stay tuned. Before we begin with this video, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. That way, you'll never miss a video from us. With that said, let's not waste any more time and get right into today's content. Toyota has partnered with Kenilworth to develop a fuel cell electric freight truck capable of 300 miles of range and zero emissions. The truck, which was developed as part of a zero emissions policy, builds upon Toyota's emergent fuel cell stack. The technology was primarily developed for Toyota's Mirai sedan and is projected to power other vehicles such as trains, heavy equipment, and boats. Toyota includes innovative features with its hydrogen system, including a catalytic filter that removes pollutants during the intake of air, along with its implementations in vehicles such as the Mirai and semi-trucks. Toyota has plans to promote and sell this technology to other companies. Now, Toyota began developing hydrogen technology in 1992 and announced the Zero Emissions Mirai in 2014. Its fuel cell stack forms a keystone of Toyota's emergence into the hydrogen market. Hydrogen is also being embraced by numerous companies, including BMW with its iHydrogen X5 SUV. Although hydrogen seems like a perfect solution to the emission crisis due to its singular, harmless byproduct, the infrastructure has yet to see significant implementations across the country. This is in part due to the cost of hydrogen, which can be more expensive related to electric technology. But let's look more in-depth at Toyota's fuel cell electric truck. The fuel cell electric semi-truck is built upon a Kenilworth T680 chassis. The T680 proves to be a robust platform to test the new technology with its aerodynamic design. T680 comes standard with remote diagnostics, collisions mitigations, and smart lane assist features, complete with a luxurious cabin. Toyota outfits the T680 with dual Mirai fuel stacks which are optimized for a high power density. It is paired with a 12 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery and heavy duty electric motor. A total of six tanks store hydrogen made it to the system that converts H2 and O2 to electricity and water vapor through the process of reverse electrolysis. With this technology, the truck is capable of more than 670 horsepower and 1,325 pound-feet of torque. It offers an impressive range of approximately 300 miles with an 80,000 pound payload. Andrew Lund, chief engineer of Toyota Motors Research and Development, commented that after extensive testing with our proof-of-concept prototypes, we are ready for the next step of putting more trucks into drayage operations. Moving toward emission-free trucks is more important than ever and the Zenzef project has been instrumental in getting us closer to that goal," he said. It's undeniable that the use of these technologies can significantly reduce emissions amidst operations that generate a significant amount of toxic byproducts. The project is part of Toyota's Environmental Challenge 2050 aimed at reducing carbon dioxide emissions, conserving water, increasing resource efficiency, and preserving nature. Companies such as Nikola, Tesla, and Volvo have also offered hydrogen and electric-powered semi-trucks with the intentions of use in logistics. Toyota North America lists key focus areas of water, carbon, materials, and biodiversity. Toyota has already tackled some of these goals by providing 18 electric vehicles, including Lexus models, and helping to reduce 35,000 metric tons of CO2 over a period of three years. The project commenced around 2015 with the introductions of the California Collaborative Advanced Technology Drayage Truck Demonstrations Project. The objective was to develop 44 emission-free semi-trucks for use at the ports of LA and Long Beach. Major truck companies such as Kenworth, Peterbilt, and Volvo participated in this project. The initiative included electric yard and Class A trucks electric gantry cranes and forklifts. Around 2018, CARP, or the California Air Resource Board, awarded a grant totaling $41 million for the development of such trucks, referred to as the Zero and Near Zero Emissions Freight Forwarding, or ZENZEF, program. With this grant, Toyota has been able to develop various test vehicles, the product of which is scheduled for delivery and functional use. 
a total of eight trucks will be distributed amongst companies Total Transportation Services, Toyota Logistics Services, and UPS. The primary goal of this pilot project will be for use in drayage operations at the port of LA, a major shipping terminal notorious for its volume of toxic emissions. Drayage can be defined as short-range ground transportations that facilitates the global shipping logistics chain. These trucks will be used in such a capacity to transport cargo to other warehouses and ports within a defined radius. Thebald Paquette, director of Toyota's fuel cell business group said, The benefits of hydrogen are clear. That's why we expect our global sales of fuel cell systems to increase by a factor of 10 in the short term and why we have dramatically increased our production's capacity. It will be intriguing to follow hydrogen fuel cell technology and its use in both heavy-duty trucks and consumer-oriented products. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you for watching.